Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we are bringing you a sad news. Two U.S. Navy SEALs have died during a raid. We have more details. Let's get started. Under the darkness of night in the roiling high seas of the coast of Somalia, members of U.S. Navy SEAL Team 3 began to climb aboard an unflagged ship that was carrying illicit Iranian-made weapons to Yemen. As Navy Special Warfare Operator 2nd Class Nathan Gage Ingram began climbing the ladder onto the boat, he slipped and fell into the you know, gap the waves had created between the vessel and the SEAL's combatant craft. As he went under, Navy Special Warfare Operator First Class Christopher J. Chambers jumped into the gap to try to save him, according to U.S. official. It was an instinctive act honed by years of training, one teammate going to another's aid, but weighed down by their own body armor, weapons, and heavy equipment, the two SEALs plunged into the depths of Arabian Sea and died, said the official who spoke on condition of anonymity. The mission came as the interdiction of weapons to Yemen takes takes on new urgency. The Yemen-based Houthis have been conducting a campaign of missile and drone attacks against commercial and navy ships in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden over Israel's war on Hamas in the Gaza Strip, and U.S. retaliatory strikes have so far not deterred their assaults. The 11-day search and rescue mission to locate the two SEALs was called off on Sunday and became a recovery effort. And on Monday, the Navy released their names after their families were notified. Chris and Gage selflessly served their country with unwavering professionalism and exceptional capabilities, said Captain Blake Cheney, commander of Navy Special Warfare Group 1, which oversees SEAL Team 3. The loss is devastating for NSW, our families, the special operations community, and across the nation. At the White House, President Joe Biden said in a statement, Jill and I are mourning the tragic deaths of two of America's finest Navy SEALs who were lost at sea while executing a mission off the coast of East Africa last week. He said that the SEALs represent the very best of our country, pledging their lives to protect their fellow Americans. Our hearts go out to the family members, loved ones, friends, shipmates, who are grieving for those two brave Americans. The U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet is conducting an investigation into the incident. The probe is expected to examine whether the SEALs were properly equipped and trained for the mission, whether procedures were followed, and any decisions regarding the timing and approval of the raid, including the weather and the state of the seas. That's all we have in today's video. I, I think it's a very, very tragic day. It's a very tragic situation for the families and for entire U.S. Have a good day. Bye-bye.